When I think about my style as a fat person, I've coined this term, big girl country. Four plus size fashion is either like older woman or young teenage girl. I've situated big girl country as the medium. Hi, my name is Fatima Jamal. I am an interdisciplinary artist, model, actress. I'm a renaissance woman. I am the writer and director of the forthcoming film, No Fats, No Films. I use she, her pronouns, and I identify as trans. Before arriving to this place, um, I existed in a very gender deviant, gender failing, very gender fucking body as a fat person. As an adult, I've later um, kind of like reclaimed my body. My art um, really focuses on a black queer film experience because those are all things that I'm interested in. I will never grow tired of capturing black, queer, and trans people and um, excavating our histories. I would say that my style is comfortable, cunty, chic. I love really feminine garments, especially ones that accentuate my shape, kind of like dress my curves. I love a bandage dress, bodycon, like dresses and skirts. It just took a lot of mixing and matching and just really being daring to just walk out sometimes in things that may get me catcalled, that like may have me um, harassed on the street. When I lived in Atlanta, I think so much of my style was reworking my clothes that I had to kind of like fit in a set that I like. And then when I moved to New York, I started shopping in more like women's departments. I see a lot of my style today like very influenced by a lot of my mom's club fashion. So I feel like style back in the day was very trendy, like whereas I think like I've learned my shape and I've, I've learned like what works on me. I think it was in high school that I uh, saw people voguing at a community center in Atlanta. Like all those years in Atlanta, I was just spectating. Then when I moved to New York, I actually joined the scene and joined the house. And I walk my way. The catwalk that you see is only possible because of the labor that I put into ballroom. Battling girls and wanting to make my walk better and practicing with my house and my girlfriends, my legendary girlfriends. Ballroom culture is a fashion week in and of itself. Everybody wants to give a look because like so much of its early years, it was about fantasy. Wow, it's a very vibrant world full of fashion, full of color. It can't be forgotten that like there are social conditions that determine how people live. It has given queer and trans people an opportunity to world make. In a world that counts you out, you enter another that says I matter here. New York has given me a space to thrive in a way that I don't think would have been possible had I been still in Atlanta. I've always been a very audacious person, fearless in how I chase after my own self-determination to make and create myself over and over again. 